once you learn C, you learn them all. All you mm-hmm. do is slide up a fret and it's all the same stuff. Okay. But the piano's not like that. Piano, each key is its own thing. You got some people that can play the crap out of C. And mm-hmm. then you go up to another key, it's like they never played piano before a day in their life. Each key is different, but they all relate. So once you begin to see how they relate, it gets easy. You're like, oh, okay, it's not as okay. hard as it seems. Okay, we're in C, right? You can put a seventh. And one way to remember it is, it's the one right behind it. It's a half step behind it. So okay. instead of me playing it like that, mm-hmm. that's a little bit more muddy. Mm-hmm. I play it apart. Oh, wow. Like that. Okay. So, D, you know, C is right behind it, but I'm playing the C up here. Mm-hmm. And it gives you a good sound. That's what they also call chord voicing. Uh, e, I'm playing the D with it, which is right behind it. Mm-hmm. Four, I'm playing the, the third with it, mm-hmm. which is right behind it, the E. Now, when it comes to five, you can't do it. It just doesn't. You just can't do it at all. It doesn't sound right. Yeah, no. But it does with the two. Hmm. Two, five, and seven run together because of that principle. Six, we can go back to the same thing, the one right behind it. Mm-hmm. Seven. Uh, we can do it with seven, though. But if not, play five with seven. Hmm. Seven, five, and two. And then back to one, eight. One and eight is the same thing. With that being said, you can put a seventh on everything but five. You can actually do it with seven, so I ain't going to restrict seven. But five, it's a no-no. Hmm. So we can be like... We'll play two with five. Because two, five, and seven run together. And then... Hmm. Sounds complicated. But as you can see, it's very simple. So all I did was just... Um, two, with the one, one. we always going off the bass. I just put the third with it as if we're in a, a regular chord. Mm-hmm. The chord voicing states that instead of these two being close together... Mm. I'm doing it like that. You hear the difference? Yeah, I hear it. Okay. It's like doing like this. Mm. Yes. Right? That actually sounds good. It does. Because now we got that bass that makes yeah. it sound full. So the bass player, if you had a bass player, you wouldn't have to hit those keys because he would be right. already playing it. When you got a you good bass, just... oh, you can really get loose because yeah. then you don't have to worry about the bass. But any good keyboard player, mm-hmm. they going to play the bass anyway. Mm-hmm. Even if the bass there, he really? might be like, man, I got you. You'd be like, well, it's just happy because... <laughs> I'm used to that habit. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? And I have to learn that a lot of times when I get a, uh, a bass player. Mm-hmm. They be looking like, so you just going to take the bass? And I'll be like, sorry, but any good keyboard player got to play the bass. Because yeah. you ain't going to just be good and didn't learn the bass first. Mm-hmm. The bass is everything. Mm-hmm. Period. Certain things run together. Mm-hmm. It's almost like shooting dice, you know, two and four, three and six. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, we'll say two and four, three and six, and we'll just start there with two, two and four, four three, three and, six. and six. What I mean by that is we got one, two, three, four. So that's two and that's mm-hmm. four, right? Mm-hmm. If I'm gonna play a chord uh, on one, I'm on. I'm on one. When I go to two, you can go to two, but two is going to have to be a minor chord because major would be... Hmm. Let me show you this. Okay, I'm going to play chords going up the scale. Okay. And I'm going to show you which ones have to be major, which ones have to be minor because it's like a rule. Mm -hmm. So one is major. Two is minor. Now, how is that minor? Because that okay. would be, uh, you always look at I the, thought when it's minor, at, at least one finger is on the black key. No, and that's why I was telling you, oh. don't get caught up in black and white because okay. if you're in a key 
uh, for example, like uh, G flat or F uh, sharp, like I was showing you earlier, mm-hmm. that's a G major. Hmm. G minor would be oh, wow. flatting the third. And in this case, when you flat the third, it actually becomes white. Hmm. Right? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, mm-hmm. it's the major chord. One, three, five. Two is minor, three is minor, four is back major, five is major, six is minor, seven is diminished. Hmm. Yep, seven is diminished, mm-hmm. and C is back major. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor. Diminish major. That's mm. if we just went up the C scale with all so chords. Ready, so right. Well. Okay. But what it ends up being is two, three, six. Two, three, and six are minor in mm. any scale. Okay. If you if you're playing a triad, which mm-hmm. is one, three, five, a triad. Mm-hmm. Two, three, and six are minor. So. play three major instead of minor. Mm-hmm. Four is major. Five is major. Six, let's try to major it. Seven. Major. Mm. Now it sounds a lot better. Mm-hmm. Major. Now, mm. basic triads, we know we have a uh, basic triad of C. I like to put the two. This is one, three, five. Mm. Two sounds so much better with that. So this is, mm. I'm finna go one, four, five, back to one, right? Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna put the two with each one of those. Okay. Sometimes I pull the one out, just do the two. Okay. Mm. Kind of like chord voice. Yeah, yeah. That two is really sweet. Yeah. And then another thing I'm going to show you is broken chords. Broken chords. Because we're playing right now just yeah. uh, together yeah. chords. But broken chord would just be... Oh, okay, what is that? I'm not really doing nothing but just keeping a rhythm and mm-hmm. just moving the fingers, but they're not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. Like if I was just going to keep it basic with no two mm-hmm. um, and play a broken chord. Whatever the metronome is. I just had to put the two in there because I just can't take it. <laughs> just play the bass try and get on my nerves. Yeah. So we'll keep the two in there. Okay. Four. Three. Who cares whether they're broken chords, whether they're not, whether you're using chord voicing, whether you're not, okay. whether you're close, whether you're far away, none of that really matters. <laughs> what matters is what we're doing, okay. which is three, two, three, six, 
See, if I heard this on the radio, I'd be like, what I'd be hearing is this. Mm -hmm. I'm like, he's on a 2-3. And it's jamming. Got to know what's going on in the bass for you to even know what's going on in the song. Mm-hmm. If I heard this, I'm like, man, they riding that two, three to death. <laughs> six, two. So let's throw the six in there. That's why I was saying two and four run together because if I was playing the two chord with this two, it'd be. We can do that though. Because mm-hmm. it goes with it, right? Yeah, it does. The two. Now, these are minor. Remember, two and three is minor. Yeah. And then if we went to four. Mm. Now we're doing a four and then three. Mm. Lauren Hill be killing the uh, minor. Yes. Now. That's five, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. With four chord. With four, okay. How do we know it's a four yeah, chord? Yeah, how do you know it's a four? Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, all right. Yes. But it was five okay. in the bass. Three, four, five, five. And then... Five always goes to one. Mm-hmm. Oh, bring it home. Mm-hmm. 